Nicole Smith and Eric Bailey from Blood and Iron Martial Arts. We're here to talk to you about Fuelin. In the German tradition, Fuelin means feeling. Fuelin is a very important concept. When Eric and I come into the bind, the information that I get off of the sword, based on the pressure that I feel, can tell me a lot about where things are going to go. From here I can tell if Nicole's putting a little pressure, a lot of pressure, no pressure, or even releasing. Now, anyone can feel these things, but it takes years of practice before you're able to feel, interpret, and react under duress. We're going to show you three examples of fuel with the German longsword, but of course there are many other ways of doing it. The first one is mutieren, or in English, to mutate. So Eric's going to throw an undercut, and I'm going to intercept with crump. As he rolls up into his guard, I'm going to step forward into the lower opening. The next one we're going to show you is Duclearin, or doubling. Doubling actually means to double up on your cut. Duplirin works when the bind is strong. Here Nicole is putting pressure against my sword, not towards me. This leaves me safe to work around her blade and double up my attack. The last one we're going to show you is Abnehmen, which is sometimes translated as to take off. Abnehmen works when the bind is overbearing. When my opponent pushes my sword offline so hard that their point is no longer a threat, I can safely disengage and cut to the other side. People don't normally react like this, but it is a panic reaction. And it usually happens when you find yourself in a bad situation, like a thrust, for example. It is worth noting that in order to feel anything off your sword, you absolutely have to have some pressure behind it. If you and your opponent are just tapping at each other's swords, you're not going to enter a bind, and therefore no information is going to be transmitted through the blades, and therefore no fuelin. This can lead to some dangerous situations. As with everything, there's a time and a place for everything. It's not always the best idea to go looking for the bind. If you're fighting an experienced fighter and all you're doing is going for the bind, they will find a way to punish you for it. But that's for another time. That being said, it's really important to be ready for the bind when it happens. It takes years of experience to be able to respond appropriately to the right amount of pressure. Now, we've broken it down into weak, medium, and strong, but obviously it's more complicated than that. There's a gradient and there are definitely some gray areas. Having multiple choice drills is a great way to practice this. And for those of you studying Thibaut's rapier, good luck. <laughs> he breaks it down into nine different degrees of sentiment. But for now, we hope you've enjoyed learning a little more of what sword fighting actually looked like. <laughs>